name's John Williams. Um, I've been fly fishing for about 35 years. Um, I guided in the Sierras for 14 years. Um, started fly tying as soon as I got into fly fishing because I was too cheap, cheap, cheap to buy a lot of flies. Uh, I have an art background, high school and college, a degree in art, and uh, that's what keeps me interested in fly tying. This fly I'm going to tie is a Czech nymph. Uh, it is a caddis pattern that uh, sinks like a rock because it has a bead head and 13 wraps of O2O lead. Today I'm tying a Czech nymph. It's going to be a caddis pattern. This is the stage between the nymph and the adult just as it's leaving its nymphal shuck. And, and uh, let me just show you the finished fly to start with. And I'll show you how we get there. First of all, I started by putting a, a 3.2 millimeter gold bead on a size 12 check nymph hook. It's a barbless hook. I took 13 wraps of O2O lead. And now I wanted to prep all that because that would take a bit of time. Now I'm going to put a base of thread wraps over the over the fly and I use a little bit of super glue just so it it stays secure and I'm tying in a rib material which is this vinyl rib and again I'm putting in a damp super glue so it's not going to go anywhere my next step is the back material, which is a stretch flex back material. I'm going to tie that in. I'm going to work myself up from a darker green, or a camera pale green. And no, I don't use dubbing wax, I like it a bit. Brighter, darker green. This is ice dub. They come in pre-packaged packages, so it's easy to just work yourself up from one material to the next. Now I want a bright orange. This is kind of a hot spot on the fly. And basically it's an attractor as well. And I take the stretchy material and run over the back, flex, taking a couple wraps, and I put just a little bit of super glue there just to keep it in place while I'm messing with the rib here. I use my thumbnail to give me a spacing and make a depression so that the rib sits right down where I want it. Ribs. Our final rib. And just a little bit more super glue so we don't lose everything. Now I'm going to use some pads. This is from a Hungarian partridge. It's the base of the wing and it has a stripe in it. I've already stripped a couple here. I stripped back the fluff off of it. Now it's going to get tied right in there. This is the wing pad. That is, uh, if I straighten it out here. There's one wing pad. And the wing pad on my side. With a sharpie, there is a wing case that's in the back here, and I want that darkened. And I put a little bit more super glue on it. And there's no need to whip finish it. 
the super glue is going to hold everything together. And that is the finished fly.